Hi guys, we're going to go over lesson 15 now about using equal groups on a number line to think about fractions. So if we look at the example, it shows us a number line with the sections between 0 and 1. And if I count the number of sections, not the number of lines, because if I count the number of tick marks, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But if I count my sections, I can see that there is 1, two, three, four, five, six. So remember it takes seven lines to cut it into sixths. So this is six equal parts and each part is one sixth of the whole thing. And to label, we do just like we count with whole numbers except for that's in our numerator. So it's like zero holes, one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, and six sixths, which is the same thing as one whole. So we're going to use that number line to answer problems 1 through 4. So on the first question, you have a number line. If I count my sections, I can see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4 sections. So I label those with 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, and 4 fourths. And if we come down, how many equal parts are there in this whole? Well, one, two, three, four. There are four equal parts. What fraction does each part show? Each part shows one fourth. We've labeled the marks on the number line already. And another name for one right here is four fourths. Now we're going to look at page 172. Oops, sorry, I scrolled too fast. And we can see that we're going to use this number line to answer problems 5 through 8. So if we look at this number line, it goes all the way to 2. But when I'm determining my fractions, I'm going to look between one whole number. So from 0 to 1 or 1 to 2. When I do that, I can see that there are 1, 2, 3 equal parts. So that means that this number line is broken into thirds. So at this first tick mark, I'm going to label that as 1 third, then 2 thirds. How many equal parts are between 0 and 1? Well, 1, 2, 3. How many equal parts are between 1 and 2? All right, let's count again. Starting at 1, there's 1, 2, Three. So there's three equal parts. So each part shows one third of a whole. And when we're labeling those fractions, we're counting just like we count normal, except for we are talking about the unit thirds. So it's zero, one third, two thirds. If I wanted to label where one is, that would be three thirds. Then this would be four thirds, five thirds. And what do you think two might be? Well, if it comes after five thirds, it should be six thirds. Okay, scrolling down, we're going to use this next number line to answer problems nine through 11. So first, let's look from zero to one and figure out how many sections we have. So we have one, two, three, four parts. So that means this number line is broken into fourths. So A, is at zero fourths, one fourth. B is at one, two, three fourths. And now we look at C. So here we have three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths. So C is at six fourths. Okay. And question number 12, write the fraction three halves where it belongs on this number line. Well, from each section, zero to one, we have two parts, which is halves. So one half, two halves, three halves. So you can see right here, we've labeled three halves on the number line. And here is the possible answer. Explain how you knew. I knew that each hole was divided into halves. I counted three sections to find three halves, which is between one and two on the number line. Um, let me know if you have any questions either on Dojo or on 
um, your Google Classroom, and I hope you did awesome on this. Talk to you later. And where's my stop?